right, so I guess this is the start of episode three. Don't actually know how I'm going to be doing the numbering scheme now that I'm on account number two or on week number three. We'll figure that out later. And first quest complete in the 24-hour stream to launch this account. Thanks, friend. Huge quest on Sheep Herder. It's the recording, but this quest is done. Sea Slug. Yeah, Sea Slug. 24 fishing. Done. Plague City. You know, I love making clips for quests. Because then, if I just, like, kill my account off, I have another 100 clips I can make, right? Best way to fill up YouTube content. Herbalore unlocked. Druidic ritual done. This time around, changing things up, doing solo Wintertaunt for a while. First kill down. Garb from kill three? Hey. That's a start. I had a guy crash me. Only got 4k points. There's the fourth piece of warm clothing. Bruma Torch. I'll take it. Super tired. That was like 16 and a half hours, maybe 17 hours of streaming. Something absurd. Um, day one done, basically. 75 fire making out of the way. 336 total. One and a half mil XP few quest points down and uh yeah pretty juicy start to the account overall still got a lot that i need to do but but we're we're moving again so uh yeah that's that's day one also it's 4 30 a.m so i it's probably gibberish and we're on to day two there's kill count number 10 don't exactly know when i'm gonna stop Possibly just not any time soon. Let's just... What's in the crate? Torch repeat? I, I think that's a good thing. Can't say for sure. I was worried because I hadn't gotten any magic logs yet from any of my crates, but uh, yeah, 16 out of that one. That's, that's that problem solved. Think I'm going to save all the rest of the crates that I get. Crate number 13. Common and Clutch. Finishing... The XP set. Hell yeah. And torch number three, somehow. And there's 89 fire making. Probably the only clip for today. Uh yeah. 58 fletching, 57 construction. Just just progressing. Now up to 31 kill count, and we have all of these crates, total of about 18, though I think it's more like 17 solo loots in there because like two of them were crashed or ended early by mistake and i think we're gonna go start doing mass games simply because well fletching doesn't really have any unlocks at 60 61 they're they're pretty meh nothing i'm gonna get to anytime soon and construction doesn't really have anything good until around 65 or 70 so leaving it at 57 is is kind of whatever um, and the XP per hour in each of these is, is kind of slowing down relative to the level. Um, at this point, like, gathering teaks is probably better for this, and, and, and broads is better for this. So, um, yeah, time to go just knock out the rest of the 8 mil here. First level of the day, 91 fire making. Yeah, hoping to end the day. I'm, I'm not quite sure. 96, maybe? So, got started this morning bright and early 8 30 a.m i mean i woke up at 8 finally got out of bed at 8 30 and started working on fire making opted not to stream today because instead i'm gonna like watch netflix watch youtube videos just try to actually stay focused the whole time um and all it's easier on my brain if i don't have to like commentate for a stream yeah so anyway totally missed a milestone that kind of matters uh 10 million overall xp yes yeah, so, so that's cool um 95 fire making nearly 96 by the way uh yeah that's that's some pretty good progress also i turned these little health bar things on and uh, i'm finding they're they're pretty useful um especially just as like a, a visual indicator on screen showing where my health is um because because i i may or may not have hit 2 hp last night and uh yeah i just i need a little a little more of an alert so so there's that and another level down 97 fire making 
not quite on track to finish up today. Uh, probably won't, considering that would leave me at like 4 a.m. or something. But um, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. 10.7 mil, 2.3 to go. And there is 98. The text got taken away because I took damage, but 98 taken care of. I might stay here just a little bit longer tonight, but otherwise, super long stream tomorrow. Gonna knock out a ton of quests. First thing, though, 99 fire making. Let's go. Uh, that's a pretty good start for day six. And there's the second to last level I'll get at Wintertime. 67 wood cutting down. It's done! 99. Okay. I'll go buy that cape as soon as I can get to Sirius Village. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just run to my bank real quick. Let this clip record. Uh have it be a little long in the video because I'm finally done. Time to go talk to Hands and Lubridge. So I opened the first 13 crates from solo games, right? And then I did 18 more solo games. My kill count is 322. So, once all of the relevant skills are in the 30s to 40s, I will start to crack these open. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to do the math. I think it's like 289, 309 crate. Yeah, 300 and nine <laughs> crates so uh, yeah look forward to that in about a week see boy tell me it took me about eight hours to get there and then after i got to winter todd it's basically all i did i spent two days and 22 hours in the world so that means getting to 99 wow that's actually that is not bad that's what, 48 plus 22 minus 8, 62 hour grind, and I soloed up to like 90. So it could have been even faster. That, that's a pretty good time. Or can I buy your skill cape? Ye Reasonable-ish, sure. Yep, and then the normal thing to do is drop the hoods, right? <laughs> do they give any stats? No, they don't. Okay. Well, and he can't, just to be sure, he can't use it? No, okay. Well, that's gone. Cape acquired. Oh, and then you do the, the emotes or something, right? That's the, that's the cool thing. Yep. Natural history quiz done for some nice little total levels. Gertrude's cat done? Is it gonna? There's the dialogue. Okay. Kitten acquired. Romeo and Juliet done. Give me those quest points. Okay, that quest is done. I can now feel comfortable. 25 hit points. Feels good. And there's another quest done, which is potion. Knight sword done. Level 1 to 29 smithing. Taurus trap done. 35 agility, yeah. And total level 503. Quest done. Fight arena quest down. 29 attack, even though I'm still only 25 mage. Sounds good. Gnome village. I mean, y'all know the order at this point, right? I don't need to make clips for all this, but I'm doing it anyway. 35 attack. Rune skim acquired on kill 25. That's only half the drop rate this time. It's pretty decent. And there's Hazel Cult done. Yeah, I mean, nothing too exciting, but thieving. Looking forward to when I finally get that uh, level 2 range sorted out, so then I can officially say the count is somewhat better than Overfletch. Dwarf Cannon done. There is my first crafting XP. And I actually got hit for the 10. The rare 10 from the Moss Guardians. Yeah, glad I didn't attempt it at 10 HP. Another big quest done. There's a ton of total levels, right? 30 strength, 40 attack. Tribal totem complete. 
for some swordfish. I talked to the cook and pressed the button and the quest, yeah. And managed to get Shield of Arav done, thanks to my friend Dizzle Hizzle. Technically this counts as finishing a quest, right? Yeah, part, part one, done. Oh, how interesting, I magically had 20 balls of wool already on me. Don't question me, Fred. Best in slot acquired, boys, let's go. We got that fashion scape running. Look, talent matches the cape. Rune mysteries done, rune crafting unlock, bada bing bada boom. Boom, prayer XP, restless ghost, quest point. Okay, I really hate that it always takes away the quest complete dialogue, but there's Demon Slayer. Another quest down, Grand Tree, and still inching towards the 700 total goal for the day. J just a little far off. Okay, yeah, 700 total not happening today. Maybe 800 tomorrow, though? It's always Carol, every single time. Murder, mystery, done. And now she's being taken away. Fishing contest complete. And now, uh, yeah, we have a happy little dwarf man. Doric's quest done. There's some mining XP. Yeah. Angry gardener taken care of. Pirate's treasure done. And there's Black Knight's fortress complete. I really like how I spent most of my time so far at Wintertot, but most of the clips going into this video are just going to be the last two days of questing. There's Recruitment Drive. Woohoo! My first real Herblor XP, right? Yeah, 11. After a super long cutscene, there's Observatory Quest. Give me that crafting XP and some tuna. Always remember that only psychopaths use the North Staircase in the Lumbridge Castle. Everyone else, all the normal folk, South Staircase all the way. I always knew the fire making cape would come in handy, rushing straight for 99 purely for the wearable light source. Every time. Okay, Abyss mini quest done, can now access the Abyss and 9RC. Time to do the dig site quest again, which sucks, but... I have strange fruit for run energy, so no problem. I'm prepared this time. Last time took like 15 minutes. This time took like 10 digs. That's nice. Time to get ancient curses. I'm, I'm, um, sorry, wrong, wrong game. There's dig side complete for big gains. One step closer to birdhouses. Finally found the dig side pendant. So. Yeah, that's two out of three done for birdhouse runs. Got that. Got uh, dig site quest complete. Just need to do the other quest. Bone voyage. Biohazard quest done. Just just twelve fifty thieving. Yeah. There's already cloak one acquired. Antique lamp into agility, unfortunately. But uh, that'll give me thirty nine. Also, is that seven hundred total? No, one off. Okay, super odd place to get 700 total, but buried a joker bone, 15 prayer, total level acquired. Jungle potion complete, herblore level acquired. Shiloh village done, big crafting gains. Merlin's crystal complete, and unfortunately, we now have to take the 69 off the quest point counter. Elements workshop one complete, big XP drop, so that's 30 crafting and 32 smithing. Goblin Diplomacy done, and that's five quest points for some reason. Lost Tribe complete. Give me that Ring of Life. Totally forgot that was coming from this. That's never coming off. I swear, though I don't think it'll protect me from Agility Pyramid if I ever go back. Ali Rescue for three more quest points. And Garbage. Another quest done. The Feud 15k Thieving. Nice. Time to go start blackjacking, and then, uh, well, unlock Rogue, tr Rogue Trader at some point. Okay, and we're on to day eight. Now, yesterday I didn't quite hit the uh, sort of goal that I had of 800 total, but if you count the fish that I gathered getting up to 58 fishing, uh, then I basically have the cooking levels banked, right? So, I think I'll count. The Golem. Time for the spooky Shadow of the Storm.
Lost City done. One step closer to Fairy Rings. Shadow of the Storm done. This time only took like 15 minutes, but one attempt, no problem, and 27 range without ever touching the skill. Quest done, Priest in Peril. Now we've unlocked another continent. Easy access to this continent, not just the ability to enter it. Ghost of Hoi done, Ectophile acquired, and probably another prayer level. Nice. Some absolute sick loot there from the first fishing trailer. As you can see in the last clip, I spent a little bit of time doing some fishing trawler. I'm going to slowly work towards that set. And hey, there's probably my last level for the night. 39 strength here. Slowly working towards 50 agility, though tomorrow I might just run some Canifus agility just to, to speed through it and, uh, and get to making some GP again. Because uh, my cash stack is only like 3k right now. But I've now spent a few hours 3 ticking here. 64 fishing, almost 65. And, um, yeah, making good progress. A stun, Clan of Corrin, give me those antique lamps. Oh, gotta pay attention to my cat in just a second. But, Herblore, that's a level. 24. And, not quite 25. Depths of Despair done, and that gets me 50 agility. Time to go do some Rogue's Den. And time to pick up the first piece of Graceful. We're going with the gloves. Bam. I know. Amazing. First game, one piece down. Perfect RNG. Two pieces and two runs. I'm telling you, I know the strategy. Three for three. Let's go. Four for four. Okay. I gotta make a video on this for sure. That's nuts. Okay, it took getting another rogue kit and two fails back to back, but there's the equipment crate. Maybe I don't have blessed RNG, but set complete. And level 70 fishing, that means I've officially unlocked Leaping Sturgeon and XP rates are going up. Ernest the Chicken complete, what a fantastic quest. Vampire Slayer done, easy attack XP, and look at me being a good hardcore. Look, I brought food with me, even though I didn't take a single point of damage from the fight. Look, just being safe. Being safe. Nature Spirit complete, that's gotta be some levels there. 33 crafting and 31 HP. 20 defense. Yeah, nice total progress. Oh, and totally forgot to update the tracker after that last uh, few quests, 105 quest points down. Okay, I was really afraid of this part of Fairy Tale 1, but Slimy Eel, that's fishing, no problem. Bunch of grapes, can get that from a garden. Varrock and Uncut Ruby, no problem, got that in the bank. Fairy Tale and, uh, well, Fairy Tale Part 1 will be down. Fairy Rings will be unlocked. Turns out uh, guards don't actually drop grapes, but they do happen to spawn in the cooking guild, so this is why we always keep the chef's hat from the imps, boys. Fairy tale part one complete. Give me that juicy 3500 farming XP straight to level 18. Most importantly, though, 15 pass for oak trees, so I'm going to start planting some of those uh, seeds that I got from Wintertot, slowly get my farming up to about 23. Uh, if not higher. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to burn through all of the seeds, of course, but 23 is the goal for Giant Seaweed. Oh, uh, 900 total, by the way. And look at that. Fairy rings now unlocked. Beautiful. So I think I'm going to call this the end of the video. I've decided that the previous two videos will be called a false start basically just me dipping my toes in the water and then dying you know two episodes in i'll number those uh episode number zero and not include them in a playlist or anything but this will be the official start of the series hopefully this lasts for a long time and we've got a really good thing going so far so 906 total level now yeah very nearly where the other account was Though it was on day 11, this is on day 9. Another big difference is it only had like 6.5 million overall XP, and we're up to 15.5. Big part of that's in fire making, but that's still 
a ton of progress for nine days, I'd say. We're really on a roll. Really excited to see what happens in the next few weeks. Uh, and of course, I have to throw in there that I'm still managing to stream every single day. So feel free to stop on by. But anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.